from cheap shots from behind. Mentioned the other night in Toronto, there's a captain nailing OV. OV down in the to blindside elbows. It looks like he caught body. Some momentum carried Blickfeld a little higher up on the kid. To sucker punches. Dirty hits have been a regular occurrence in hockey. Here are some of the dirtiest hits in hockey history, and we'll start with this one. During the 1993 playoffs, after the New York Islanders pair Turgeon scores and as he is celebrating the goal, that was just a dirty play by Hunter. He is cheap shotted from behind by the Washington Capitals' Dale Hunter. Turgeon suffered a separated shoulder and missed all but one of the Islanders' remaining playoff games. Capitals were eliminated from the playoffs in that game, but Hunter was suspended for the first 21 games of the following season. At the time, it was the longest suspension for an on-ice incident in NHL history. Another one that came in the playoffs was this hit from behind, and by the Colorado Avalanche's Claude Lemieux, which sent the Detroit Red Wings' Chris Draper face first into boards. It came in 1996 during the Western Conference Final. Draper suffered a broken jaw, a shattered cheek, and orbital bone. Lemieux was suspended for two games. I was wired shut for seven weeks. Draper set off his recovery afterwards. After five weeks, they took off the clips that locked my upper jaw with my lower jaw. That hit was also the beginning of the bitter rivalry between the two teams of the late 90s and early 2000s. Matt Cook is responsible for two of the most dirty hits. During the 2009-10 season, Cook did this to the Boston Bruins' Mark Sever. Sever only played 32 more games after this hit. The following season, it was the New York Rangers' Ryan McDonough who felt the wrath of Cook's elbow, but he got off luckier than Sever. We got a penalty coming to Cook. He got McDonough up high. This happened when McDonough was a rookie and he went on to have a 14-season career. But Cook also knows what it's like to be on the receiving end of a blindside elbow to the head from out of nowhere. Cook was playing for the Vancouver Canucks in 2009 and had already garnered a reputation as someone to keep track of whenever he was on the ice because of his dangerous hits. But the Chicago Blackhawks' Duncan Keith, a two-time Norris Trophy winner who is not normally known for physical or dirty play, turns the tables on Cook with his predatory elbow. Keith will likely be elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame within the next few years, but this was certainly one of the dirtiest hits in hockey. The two former stars who were involved in the next dirty hit are already in the shrine. During the 1993-94 season, Mark Messier, then playing with the New York Rangers, knocked out the Dallas Stars' Mike Modano with a blindside shoulder to the head. A very rare occurrence of star on star crime involving a dirty hit. Messier had almost 700 goals, and Modano has more goals and points than any other American-born player in NHL history. But there, Modano was laid out on the ice and unconscious. And to add insult to the injuries that he suffered, a concussion and a cut to his head. The paramedics accidentally dropped Modano off the stretcher as they attempted to put him into the ambulance. Mm, another player who you wouldn't think would be dishing out a dirty hit was another Hall of Famer, Pavel Burr. Nicknamed the Russian Rocket, Burr was known for his speed and goal-scoring ability. He scored 437 goals in only a little over 700 NHL games, but in this case, he also demonstrated the ability to throw a wicked elbow. The recipient was the Dallas Stars' Shane Churla, and it happened during the 1993-94 season. In a physical game, Burr was retaliating for a check on him by Churla a few seconds earlier. Back in the 1969 playoffs, one of hockey's most legendary players, Bobby Orr, found himself on the receiving end of an elbow that knocked him out. Pat Quinn delivered the elbow as he checked Orr along the boards. The game was played at the old Boston Garden, and the fans were so irate that they nearly broke out in the penalty box where Quinn was sitting, which included the glass between the fans and Quinn in the penalty box being shattered. Incidentally, Quinn went on to become one of the top coaches in the NHL and was also a general manager. He was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame as a builder. Marion Haza is also a Hall of Famer who had to survive a vicious and dirty hit. The hit was courtesy of Rafi Torres, then with the Arizona Coyotes in the first round of the 2012 playoffs. Torres caught Haza with a shoulder to the head as Haza cut towards the middle of the ice. Haza suffered a severe head injury and did not play again until the following January. 
Torres was originally suspended for 25 games, but he appealed and it was shortened to 21 games. Torres is another who appears twice on this list of dangerous hits. Torres also dealt out a few other illegal hits during his career. This time, he was with the San Jose Sharks and came during an exhibition game against the Anaheim Ducks. He clearly goes out of his way, taking four strides to deliver this elbow to the head of Anaheim's Jacob Silverberg. Amazingly, Silverberg did not suffer a serious injury. This was Torres' fifth suspension, and it was for 41 games, the longest in NHL history for an on-ice infraction. Torres also apologized to Silverberg. Former NHL star defenseman Zidane Chara also dashed out a lot of punishment during his career, but most of it came within the rules. At 6 foot 9 and weighing from 255 to 270 pounds, Chara did not have to break the rules to inflict pain upon his opponents. But during the 2010 to 2011 season, Boston's Chara angled the Montreal Canadiens' Max Pacioretty into the boards after he had played the puck and shoved him head first into one of the stanchions between the benches. Pacioretty lay on the ice unconscious for six minutes and was taken out on a stretcher. He suffered a concussion and fractured vertebrae. Chara was penalized with a five-minute major, but was not suspended. Ty Domi was known for breaking the rules during his career, but he usually used his fists as one of the league's top enforcers. But during the 2001 playoffs in a game between Domi's Maple Leaves and the New Jersey Devils, Domi used his elbow for a dirty hit on New Jersey Scott Nidermayer, which knocked him out. Domi said it was payback for a Nidermayer stick to the face in an earlier game. Domi, who was suspended for the rest of the playoffs in the first eight games of the following season, called it the dumbest thing I did in my career. Not all of the dirty hits in world-class hockey have come in an NHL competition. Arguably, the most infamous two-headed slash in hockey history came in the 1972 Summit Series between Canada and the then-Soviet Union. The Hoblitz missed it back to the net. There's Kurgawain. It was an eight-game series, and Canada won it by going 4-3-1, to to one, finishing with three straight wins. A big factor was the slash by Hall of Famer Bobby Clark of the Philadelphia Flyers to the skate of Soviet star Valery Karlamov in Game 6 in Moscow. The slash broke Karlamov's ankle and put him out for the remainder of the series. Clark has never been apologetic about the slash. You've got to remember, Clark said in an interview with the Toronto Star. At that time, 50 years ago, Canada and Russia were in the Cold War. The Russians were the enemy. Three years later, during the 1975-76 seasons, the Detroit Red Wings' Dan Maloney did not like a hit on one of his teammates by the Toronto Maple Leafs' Brian Glennie. So Melanie sucker-punched Glenny from behind twice, and then for a good measure, picked Glenny up and dropped him to the ice face twice. Maloney received a five-minute major while Glenny suffered a slight concussion. Maloney was then charged with assault causing bodily harm by a Toronto court, but Melanie was acquitted. A player in recent years who has drawn the ire of opponents and many around the NHL for his hits is the Washington Capitals' Tom Wilson. Wilson was suspended for 20 games for this hit on the St. Louis Blues Oscar Sunsquist during an exhibition game in 2018. Wilson got a 10-minute misconduct and a game misconduct by the referees. Sunquist sustained a shoulder injury, a concussion, and facial lacerations and was placed on injured reserve. We'll finish with two dirty hits in the same game. The hits came in March 8, 2004 in a game between the Colorado Avalanche and Vancouver Canucks. The first saw the Avalanche's Steve Moore elbow the Canucks' Marcus Naslund in the head as Naslund was going down. But Todd Bertuzzi would not let that stand. Late in the game, Bertuzzi tried to get Moore to fight in retaliation for the elbow to Naslund's head. But Moore would not drop the gloves. So Bertuzzi ultimately did this to Moore sucker punching him in the face from behind the twice and driving him to tie ice face first. Subscribe to this channel for more hockey videos, click the video on screen to watch the NHL's funniest fan interaction moments.